Hi, I'm Joe Schatzneider, Product Analyst for Kingland. And today, I'm going to talk about a proprietary piece of Kingland technology that helps global organizations manage their relationships within their client and other legal entity data. This specific technology is known as inheritance. And through inheritance, we automatically cascade data points, such as designations specific to the public accounting space, locations, classifications, and more, up and down a legal entity's hierarchy. Let's look at the whiteboard for an example. Up on the board, we have a sample of the hierarchy for BlackRock Inc. BlackRock is a massive US investment company with 168 subsidiaries listed on their annual report, as well as $7.6 trillion in assets under management. This can create a data management nightmare. Who's that a nightmare for? Bob. Bob's our data administrator for our firm, and it is his sole responsibility to ensure the integrity of the BlackRock hierarchy. That means that if a change occurs to BlackRock's hierarchy or a specific data point to a specific legal entity within the hierarchy, some sort of action is required by Bob. He has to verify the accuracy of that update, understand how that update impacts the rest of the tree, and help his firm maintain compliance. That can be challenging. It introduces risk to Bob's firm, it's costly, and it takes a lot of time. Through inheritance, we look to automate that step. Following a variety of business rules, as shown on the bottom of the board here, changes to a hierarchy can be automatically cascaded up, down, and throughout. This saves Bob's time, saves his firm money, and helps his firm maintain regulatory compliance. Now I'm gonna pass it over to Nick, and he's gonna show you how that looks within the software. Thanks, Joe. I'm product analyst Nick Nystrom, here to show you how the inheritance rule works in the software. The classification code of NAICS needs to be added to BlackRock. Using inheritance-based rules, I can show you how to automate the updates to all subsidiaries that would need to receive the updated NAICS value. Selecting the NAICS code type with the value of portfolio management will trigger the inheritance logic. The logic will traverse the tree based on the rule and apply the attribute to specific legal entities. Here we can see that 81 entities are impacted by this inheritance logic. Clicking on the view details, we can see all the entities that will be receiving the NAICS value of portfolio management. We also see in the hierarchy visualization which entities will be receiving the inherited value as well. To see how you can change the game in enterprise data management, visit us at kingland.com.